All right, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another DV tutorial. Today we're excited to announce the launch of another new feature to the DV platform, and that is conditional alerts. This basically allows you to combine a trend line or price alert with an additional condition that allows you even more customizability when you see stocks come through with your alert. So this is super cool um, and is easy to use as well as we'll get into with this tutorial. Uh, first things first, if you haven't tried DFU yet, we are running a special offer three months for $77. You can check out that deal down below in the description and also popping up right now. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. First things first, this is the alert pop-up that you'll see whenever you, uh, you know, right click on a uh, trend line or set a price alert. You've got some different customizability options in terms of how long you want the alert to be active. Uh, you know, one month, three months, all the way up until forever. Then you want to set, you know, the condition uh, trend line rises above, falls below, or you could also set it to both. And then this is where we have the new functionality here in DView. You're now able to select an additional data point, an additional condition that must be true for the stock to trigger an alert. And what I have set up now is probably the most common combination that you'll see. Uh, basically, we are looking at ABGO. You've got a range here watching for a potential breakout here from this base. And if it does that, I also want to see relative volume, the run rate to be greater than 100%, basically saying that volume is running faster than average uh, for this alert to be triggered. And you might want to set this, you know, 90% or a little bit less than that to make sure you see it if volume is significant enough. Uh, but basically, just this gives you more flexibility uh, to make sure that your alerts are tailored to exactly you want to you want to see and that you're focused, you're not seeing all these um, alerts that aren't actually you know valid because your know, volume isn't there on the breakouts or whatever condition you want to set. Um, I'll go through a few other combinations uh, of, you know about this that I found to be useful. Uh, but first things first, you can always remove the condition here and just set a normal price alert and leave this blank if you don't want it. And then of course you basically add with add the condition and to get the volume, you basically type in run rate. 20 day is what I like to use greater than and maybe set 90%. It's as easy as that. You just go ahead and save um, or click create. So taking all the way from the beginning and we'll show a few other you know combinations that might be helpful in terms of conditional alerts. Uh, to create an alert, let's go ahead and do Alt T on Windows and Option T on Mac. Let's right click on the trend line, click add alert. And then we've got that set right there above. And another combination that might be helpful is we don't want you know the stock to have run too hard too fast into the alert into the alert and the reason being we still want to have runway that day to build us a cushion uh, so we basically want to make sure that the stock hasn't moved too far from the open uh, to get to that trend trend alert basically so let's go ahead and do price percent change and let's do from the open and let's see less than you know, 2%. So we still want additional runway, uh, runway rather, uh, to, as it gets to alert. So this ensures that it might open here and then pushes, which isn't too far and gives it the chance to really break out and make a move and give us that nice cushion. Another way to do that would be not price percent change the open, but let's do ADR and let's do more percentage one day and triggers if, you know, this ADR is less than you know, 2%. So it hasn't had too much of a range already in that day. And then this would be valid uh, to make sure it doesn't, you know, have uh, already exhausted itself getting to that trend line alert. And again, you just go ahead and click create. And there you go, it's created and ready to go. So those are a few different combinations that I found useful with conditional alerts, but let me know your ideas down below. Uh, you can also incorporate fundamentals with this if you'd like to. Uh, you could have an alert that only triggers if earnings growth was greater than 25%. Um, any data point really in our database, DCR, um, relative strength, uh, relative strength one day, that could be a useful one as well. Um, oops reversal, all those are possible combinations that you could add in terms of conditional alerts uh, to make these a little bit more tailored to you, your training style, and just that much more effective. So uh, thank you guys all for taking the time to watch this. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let us know your feedback on this feature uh, down below as well. Are there any suggestions that you'd like us to add, improvements you'd like to make us to make uh, in iteration two? Uh, but with that said, thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out the special offer if you haven't yet tried DFU, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.
Bye.